Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by. So high, come dream with me tonight. Look, Grubby, it's a sign for the Ying Zoo. It says, See the incredible octopedes. And it says they have Gimmick the Great, too. Not a very good picture of him. Hey, and look who's the troll grunge with no brain. It's Tweed. Well, now we know where they are. But how do we rescue them? Well, simple, Grubby. We go to the zoo. Gee, hope they don't have a dress code. I want you hench monsters to put Wizard World out of business. Not one ride left to ride. Not one game left to play. Not one attraction left to attract. Got it? Yeah, we got it. We got it. Got it. Got it. Well, what are you missiles waiting for? Get going while I'm still in a good mood. Here we go, yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go. This is us going. Looks like fun! <laughs> Soon Wizard World will be no more. Is this thing slow or what? Where are those stupid hench monsters? They should have been back hours ago. What could be delaying their destroying Wizard World? Those fools! I can't believe they bungled the simplest job. What a sucker. Five never comes up. Oh. Nobody leaves these premises. Understood? Yes, you great magician type person. If anyone tries to leave, stop them. And that includes you. Oh, nuts. Who's gonna run this place with all my hench monsters over at Wizard World? The prisoners? Hmm, that's not a bad idea after all. I'm turning this boat into a seafood restaurant. Now, to be a maitre d', you must learn the proper way to pull out someone's chair. Like this. Good! Now keep that look for the customers. Next, I'll show you how to serve a meal. Just carry the tray to the table and carefully empty it. That was easy. Now you try carrying a tray. But suppose you had to serve two tables at once. Then you'd need two trays. Or three tables, that would take three trays. Or four trays for four tables. You're really getting the hang of it. Keep practicing. You see, that goody two-shoes brother of mine thinks he can outsmart me. But with your brains, I'll beat him once and for all. I want you to build the ultimate fun ride for my zoo. 
Hmm, a rather challenging uh, uh, challenge. But I refuse to uh, uh, do it. I'll give you all the money you want. Confined in this habitat, money would hardly be a, a, a motivating factor. Well, if you don't think you can do it... Who said so? Of course I can uh, uh, do it. No, you're right. It's probably much too complicated for you. I'll have to find a, a really good inventor. I am a really good uh, uh, inventor. But not good enough to build the ultimate ride, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, I am, and I'll prove it. Why, I'll build the most amazing ride ever uh, uh, ridden. Just wait and uh, uh, see. Well, if you insist. I'll need lots of helping hands to complete this uh, uh, project. And since no one has more hands than an octopede, how about lending me uh, uh, a few of them? Anything you say, just get it done. I'm naturally scientific With gizmos I'm terrific I don't take credit for this gift I've got Some folks have got it but most have not I remember every thought that I've ever been taught Cause I'm naturally scientific if you want an invention, I'm your guy. Like a pair of galoshes that can make you fly. Or a popcorn kernel that won't pop loud. Or an igloo big enough to handle any crowd. For technical training, admittedly, I lack. I was born with a certain scientific knack. I'll invent anything, even quicker than a wink. From a kitchen sofa to a living room sink. You'll invent anything, even quicker than a wink. From a kitchen sofa to a living room sink. The reason I'm so great, even I cannot explain. It could be it's simply fate, but it's probably my brain. Cause I'm naturally, 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 naturally scientific. Soon everyone will know about my new ultimate ride. This brochure says it all. No one will ever go to that stupid wizard world again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, stop complaining. I had to carry a load, too. When they see my new sign, everyone will be so impressed, they'll never even notice that I've raised the price of the admission. What's so special about that sign? Just watch. Ah, ready when you are, boss. Let her rip. This stuff always attracts a crowd. Every moron is impressed by my magic. <laughs> Step right up, folks. See the world's greatest zoo, where the magic starts at the front gate. That's right, folks. We've got octopedes, gimmick the great. And the incredible troll grunge with no brain. He mumbles, he stumbles, he slithers on his belly like a sub-creature. Yikes, will you look at that? Well, this must be the right place. Hey, excuse me, sir, is this where we buy tickets? You betcha! How many? Two, please. One for me and one for my friend here. Hmm. He certainly is a tough monster, isn't he? Oh, yes. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Certainly. You know, I've never seen anything like you two around here before. What kind of creatures are you? He's a... Uh, um, uh... Uh, I'm a slime puppy, and my friend here is a, an octo-slug. I've never seen an octo-slug or a slime puppy before, and I'm sure no one else has either. You snapped, Buzz? Yes. I want those two. I'll be the first zoo to have an octo slug and a slime puppy. Never heard of them. Of course you haven't. No one has. That's why I want them. Soon I'll have the ultimate ride and the ultimate attraction. <laughs> <laughs> You found Tweed? Answer me, you idiots! 
Have you? We are... Uh, but that is... We, uh... Dumb. We didn't find Twig and Sledge here takes full responsibility. What? I send you to do one simple thing, and you come back empty-handed. I ought to erase your brains with the black box. Except it might be too much of a strain on brains that were never there to begin with. Sludge, this looks like a lucky day. Mail call and fun break! Bob Nostroclum, what are you babbling about? Paragraph 17, subsection 41. The supreme oppressor is to have 15 minutes of fun each and every day. Shall I call in a troll for you to thrash? No, just give me the mail. Then perhaps I should summon a few slugs for you to throttle within an inch of their lives. Just the mail, I said. Perhaps a few dozen villains for you to boil in bilge oil. Just give me the mail. Yes, your malevolence. Death threats, see fiction notices, catastrophe predictions. How come I never get anything interesting? Oh, did I get my copy of Monsters Digest? Digest? Oh, this. Mm. Ah, what have we here? That idiot twig is a captive in the Ying Zoo. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Summon the Eclipse airship. We're going to the Ying Zoo. Oh, boy! I love going to the zoo. Blackmail demands, extortion notices, death threats. Always the same junk mail. I never get anything interesting. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? Some tacky brochure for the Ying Zoo. But look at the cover, Eleanor. It's your son, Tweed, huh? in a cage. Doesn't he look sweet behind bars? Yeah, it is the perfect setting. <laughs> Unfortunately, if we want to get our hands on that formula for making gold from buttermilk, we'll have to rescue him. LB, we're going to the zoo! This beast is an upside downer. Better not get too close. Why not? You don't look too well. Gee, I don't. No, you look terribly pale. Are you feeling all right? As a matter of fact, I have been getting these pains in my... Wait a minute. I feel just fine. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like I said, stay away from that one. He can get you really depressed. What kind of creature is that? It's the Gourds Monster. It gets so hungry that every few minutes, it eats itself. Uh, uh, that's amazing! Doesn't he get tired always eating the same thing? For creatures big and yucky, it's the Ying Zoo. See monsters, if you're lucky, at the Ying Zoo. We've captured one of everything from Grundo and the land of Ying. So make your mom and daddy bring you two. The Ying Zoo, the Ying Zoo, the Ying Zoo. Now this cage used to house the Iliop. In Iliop? Yes, one of the most feared creatures in all of Ying. He does look kind of mean. He was one of the zoo's most popular attractions. The money was just rolling in. What happened to him? A little ingrate escaped. Gee, what a tough break. Don't worry. One day I'll find myself another Iliop, and I promise you this one won't ever get away. That's it, lads. Keep on hammering. Well, Zelza, this project is certainly working out even better than I uh, planned. Gimmick, how can you be so excited when you're still a prisoner? Prisoner or not, I've really outdone myself this time. It just look. It goes on an uh, uh, downward angle, then it goes a... Uh... Hold on, that's not uh, uh, right. Try it this way. Ah, yes. <laughs> Much better. I tell you, Zelza, it's just eh, eh, wonderful. Inventors. Hum. Look, Teddy. 
It's Gimmick and the Octopedes. We found them. Now all we have to do is get away from the sorcerer and talk to Gimmick. Right. And figure a way out of here. Huh? What's all the whispering about? Huh? Uh, whispering? Us? Well, <laughs> you see, uh, er, uh... What he's trying to say is... Um, uh, Never mind. Uh, I'd like to show you a very interesting exhibit. Voila! But I don't see anything at all. Yeah, me neither. You're both absolutely right. That's because it's empty. Exactly what's so interesting about that? It will soon be the home of a slime puppy and an octoslug. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know any, would you? I think he means us, Teddy. I think you're right, Grubby. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey. hands off. Let go of me. Why, you, I oughta... <laughs> hey, cut it out. Welcome to my zoo. Make oh. yourselves at home. And I do mean home. <laughs> you really won't like us. We make terrible pets. Yeah, that's right. We, um, uh, we, we fight all the time and um, uh, make uh, lots of noise. Splendid. The public loves that. You two will make a wonderful attraction. Well, what I mean to say is we're very quiet and we sleep all the time. Lock them inside. Run for it, Grubby. Darn! Missed the slippery little whatever it was. Maybe we can make a deal. I'll give you free room and board. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, that's not an octo slug. That's an octopede. And the other is a, a, a an iliop. After them! Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Got you, got you. How are we gonna get out of here, Teddy? The walls are too high to climb and the gates are all guarded. Well, maybe if we hide until nightfall, we can sneak out. Good idea. But where will we hide? Oh! Quick, Grubby, into this empty cage. Gee, I thought we wanted to stay out of cages, not get inside them. I've got an idea. I'll stand on my hands and you grab me around the waist. Teddy, this is no time to start practicing circus tricks. Hurry, Grubby. There's no time to explain. Oh, I get it. Now, wrap the blanket around both of us. They can't have gotten far. Huh? Check all the exits. Huh? Huh? Oh, <laughs> oh. We've been tricked. Run, Grubby. Where to, Teddy? The top of the roller coaster. Maybe we can jump over the wall. Hurry, Grubby. They're gaining on us. I sure wish we had the airship. The last one up the scaffolding will be my new attraction in my monster museum. Wow. <sighs> this way. Better this way than that way. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid we're still not close enough to the wall. I'm just plain afraid. The kind of place to go for a visit. The land of Ying. We've got ourselves an octo thing. And what is it? Yeah. My mother told me never to go to the land of Ying. She said it is the place where evil sleeps. I really hope you two like living in the zoo. <laughs> This place has given me the creeps. <laughs> the land of Ying is not the kind of place to go on a vacation. <laughs> the land of Ying, we've got ourselves into an awful situation. Oh. Now I'll be rich. I have an Iliop on permanent display. 
<laughs> and I do mean permanent. What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>